Hey there, welcome YouTube. We're, we're covering trans news and I'm just telling people that I think I'm gonna start calling, you know, trans issues, people issues because that's exactly what they are to me, right? They're just regular folks. They're trying to get by, trying to figure their life out. Um, they don't deserve to be marginalized. They don't deserve to be otherized. They don't, I mean, this is, is this, this is a nihilistic and cynical tactic by the right wing. They don't care about trans people. They don't care about trans, they don't care about their own kids. All they care about is themselves and their power and their wealth right and yeah sure maybe we'll bring the family along but it's you know number one first anyway it's a, it's a what i'm trying to get is it's a cynical ploy by the right wing to otherize and be like oh you know we the reason why our society is collapsing is because trans people exist right um this is just absolutely tragic and I wanted to highlight her story here because I think, you know, she she killed herself. And at the very least, uh, you know, the very least that I can do is uh, put her message out here. Her mom and dad actually left Islam because of Islam's view on trans. Well, that's very appropriate to, uh, to the story here from ITV News. Trans Saudi woman dead after accusing parents of forcing her the D transition. So. Saudi Arabia posted a note accusing her family of forcing her to D transition before she was found dead. Eden Knight, who was 23 years old, had moved from the US back to Saudi Arabia. In a Twitter post titled Final Message, she yeah. accused her parents of pressuring her to return to Saudi and denying her access to her hormone medication. Her family confirmed her death online, referring to her as a young man and denouncing funeral details. Eden had more than 21,000 yeah. followers on Twitter. And, th and that's, you know, that's how religious zealots, it's not just Islam, you know, to the Islam haters, it's religious zealots in general. That's how they act. Christian, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter the denomination, doesn't matter the belief. Um, you just need to be religious and need to be uh, a zealot about it. Took a while, though. The mom from in Indo was initially very angry, but my uncle convinced her to accept it. I mean, what, what the hell else are you going to do? You know, what the hell else are you going to do, Indonesia? Thank you, Davey. Over there on DLive, it's such a novelty. Twitter, where she would share her journey of what her friends described as living in the closet. Yeah, this poor thing. Since her death was announced, her friends have tweeted heartfelt statements, saying she'll always be remembered. If you're affected by any of these issues, please reach out to That's Samaritans terrible. or Mind terrible. with the numbers on the screen. Well, I can only hope that letting people know um, about the struggles of, uh, of trans people, um, hopefully we can try to uh, keep this person's memory alive, because that is just absolutely tragic. Absolutely tragic. Um, R.I.P. Or woman and, and i just want to reiterate it's not just islam we are we are actually seeing it happen in real time in the united states with you know denying women their denying people their right to their sexual orientation it's such a simple thing it's none of your fucking business it's like it's like none of your fucking business you know what i mean <laughs> you know what I mean? And you got these fat white slobs who fucking run who right wingers who run in government. Oh, I don't think you should do that with your genitals. Two months later, they get busted for fucking pedophilia. Six thousand images found on fat ass slob congressmen's. You know, I got some stories about it. <laughs> They're. They're raging hypocrites. They're cynical nihilists. They're fucking fascists. And guess what, folks? They're about to take the whole goddamn fucking brass ring, baby. They're about to be the only fucking thing you worry about. It's such a luxury to be worrying about sleepy Joe Biden and the neoliberals who are too afraid of their own fucking shadow to do e anything even remotely fucking progressive. But you just fucking wait. Because when they start treating regular folks like the trans folks, you'll be wishing you stood up a whole lot earlier.
slippery slope. You fucking bet. You fucking bet. Anyway, that's been my uh, trans people update. Uh, RIP to the real one. Thank you, you too.